What's up, everybody? Crazy Mike D here. Tonight is a sweet review. That's right. I'm branching into sweets, candies, chocolates, it's different things like that. Um, I was at the hospital yesterday visiting my wife, and there was a kiosk down in the lobby, and uh, they were selling peanut butter, or sorry, peanut brittle, and fudge. Um, I'm not a humongous fan of fudge. I love peanut butter, peanut brittle. So I picked up some peanut butter and some fudge. Um, this comes from... Now, you guys are going to get a laugh at this. I know the whole old the joke. Phil's Fudge Factory. Yeah, yeah. Bring on the trolls, the Fudge Factory. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Guys, gonna be watching this, so sir, just ignore all the trolls that are commenting, making fun of the name. You know, it's, it's YouTube. People are gonna joke around. Um, I do know that they are based out of Edmonton. I'll put the link in this the description. Yeah, that's right. The link in the description, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can find some and be able to buy some. Don't know if he ships uh, to the the states or uh, to different provinces, but you can always check out the site. Um, the one I bought though is the dark chocolate caramel with sea salt, I believe it is. Um, I love a uh, coarser salt. So, oh, that's kind of neat. It's wrapped in a cellophane wrap. Nice big chunk of a uh, fudge. I believe I paid ten bucks for this. Um, yeah, I might say it's a little pricey, but, you know, this is real handmade fudge. This isn't factory stuff. Mm. Give you a good look at that. Quite. Should have had this in the fridge. A little melted, but it's what, uh, I, for 10 bucks got me. You know, it's a, it's a decent price. You can see the nice specks of uh, salt there in the caramel um, so that's yeah I'm gonna definitely have to put that in the fridge it's starting to melt ooh I can actually taste the salt on there that's uh that's very different I can get my knife open. That'd be a new that'd be another thing. Let's uh, get myself a slice here. Sorry about the shaking. Yeah, definitely gonna have to put this in the fridge. Nobody likes melted fudge. Mmm. That's an interesting flavor, that, uh, that salt and caramel. And it's, it's a dark chocolate, but it's not... It doesn't really taste like a really, uh, really, really dark chocolate, like a 80%. I'm thinking this is more uh, 60%, 70%, but... I've got the, some nice little flakes of, of salt there. Some good caramel. Let's give it a try.
Mm-hmm. 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 Like caramel. Very sticky. Nice and sticky. The chocolate melts right away. The salt. Oh, that is really good. That is very, very good. Um, yeah. If you can go online, buy them, and possibly they can ship to uh, the states or to different provinces. You should try to definitely order some of this awesome stuff. Uh, Flavor-wise, I would give this a... Uh, Um, I would give it a 9 out of 10. And the only reason why I'm only giving it a 9 out of 10 is I would have liked it if it was even darker. Um, I like a really, really dark chocolate. Almost pure cocoa, cocoa chocolate. That's how I like my chocolate. Anyways, um, we received a card from him. His name is Phil. Uh... So I'll put the link in the description. Phil Bat. Name is. Not the guy. Very nice guy. So uh, hopefully you guys can find him online. I'll even put the phone number for his business. And uh, his email. And uh, definitely contact him. See if, uh, where he can ship. And definitely order if you can. He has a lot of different kind of fudges, um, huge variety of, of fudge. But since I'm not a huge fan, I had to pick the one that would I was most interested in, and that was the caramel, the dark chocolate caramel salt. So uh, yeah, hope you guys like that video, and uh, like always. Crazy Mike D signing off. Yeah, I'm a great night.